So this looks pretty good to me. Um, the last thing I'm going to do is at the top, make sure that my last name and the page number of my work cited is included. So the way to do that is to double click up at the top so that you open up the header of the document. Now from here, you want to align your text so that it's on the right side of the page. So if I go back to home and I click here on right alignment, I can now type in my last name and my essay has four pages. So this is the last page of my essay. So I'm going to make this page five. Now, really important to know is that the font and font type here has gone back to the default of Word, which is Calibri 11. A lot of students make the mistake of leaving this the way that it is. And you need to make sure that it matches with the rest of your document. So I'm going to highlight this and change it to Times New Roman 12 point font. And if I double click outside anywhere in my document, that is now part of my header. Okay. Now the other way to do that, to add your last name and a page number, if you're working with your essay from the beginning and you want to include your work cited after you've been working on your essay. So in other words, your work cited is part of your essay document. Then what you can do, is go up to insert and over here on the right hand side there are a couple of options header footer and page number so if I select page number it allows you to decide where you want the page number located for the page and I want it on the top and it should be on the top right of the page so I'm gonna click on my options and then scroll down until I see here plain number three. And now the page number is automatically included. To add my name, you'll notice that the cursor is flashing in front of the number. So all I have to do is again, type my last name and hit space to make sure I separate from my name and the page number. And again, remember the font and font size are defaulted Calibre 11, so I have to change that. And now, anytime I have an additional page, as you'll see here, this is my page two, the page number will automatically update and my last name will always be included. So if you are typing your essay from beginning to end and your work cited is included at the very end, it will automatically get page numbered correctly. So that is another way to add your name and your page number at the top. One last thing to remember is that you want to make sure you are saving your file by going to file, save as, and giving your file a name and saving it wherever it is you want to save this document. A lot of students make the mistake of leaving their documents unnamed. Sometimes the computer crashes or something happens and their file is lost. So make sure you do that as soon as possible. I waited until the end to tell you this, but make sure it's the first thing you do, save your file. And if not, as soon as you remember, make sure you save it. Uh, because especially with Word, it being a software based program on a computer and it's not web based, it does not automatically save all of the time. So you want to make sure that you are saving your work. And that's pretty much it for the work cited formatting in Word.